Hey, what's up guys, this is Astronox. Let's do a Guild War on the Europe server. So let's start with my daily summon. Because you never know. Nope, not today. Okay, let's jump in there. So today we are fighting Gachi and the score is... Yeah, they're winning. Wow. 2,000 Havoc above us. We have one of their fortress. It's almost dead. They are attacking my fortress. We'll see how it goes there. But they took one of us, our, uh, one of our fortress already. We're ranked 21. Okay, let me... I'll attack Dahlberg last. I want to attack this player first. I'm going to go with this team. So... Tanky enough. We'll just uh, have to find out if uh, if it's good. So let's go. Let's go, Champion Zirato. He uh, well, he's gonna do some counter attacks. I guess he didn't trigger it there. Okay, let's just take those off. If I kept the enable to be buff debuff on Champion Zirato, he would actually have counter attacked. No debuff on him. I mean, I built him with uh, like barely any effect resistance. Actually, he has a bit more now than he used to have before. Let's. Kill him here. We'll get a good chunk of combat readiness. We'll be able to uh, go again soon enough. Champion Zirato is not built with a uh, high amount of offensive uh, stats. Oh my god. Yo, Angelic Morancy. We gotta double tap this uh, Vildred. Thankfully, her skill too, man. The cooldown got reduced by one turn. Okay, he's finally dead. What's up with these resists, man? We want to see Champion Zerato do some counter attacks. Well, he's immune to stun. Uh, it, like... It was going to be a stun, because the immune, you know, text popped up. Still no counter attack. Okay, let's uh, let's just keep Bazaar there. Let, let's work on Maid Chloe. We, we don't want her to bring Vildred back. Alright, let's cheer. Oh, why did I do that? She's just getting combat readiness. I mean, she's the one getting it. She has more attack than Bazaar. Bazaar is only a 5 star. There we go, I counter. It was about time. Okay. <laughs> Blown up by the burn. That's just great. Let's finally take her out. But she's coming back. Immune again. He was going to be stunned. Oh, again. The idle cheer trigger. I'm just trying to get a dual attack, man. Speed things up. Because Bazaar, I mean, he's taking damage from uh, Champion Zirato. So I don't have to worry too much. Really? 
Okay, now you die. Oh, the dual attack happens now, of course. Of course it happens now. Speed things up here. Okay, round two. Now let's see this one. This one should be more interesting, of course. Els Fist on ML Ken. Okay. Let's go for that here. Maybe she dies. Crit. Damn, that was close. Well, gotta work at it again. Let's uh, heal the group up. I can reset this Tina's skill three with this area now. It's quite a long cooldown. Let's go for this here. We're gonna get a counter attack from ML Can, hopefully. Okay, there it is. Oh, it, I don't need to get a counter attack from uh, from Ken. Oh my God, that's a disaster. I usually want that when I'm baiting their attacks into ML Ken. Now he's uh, yeah, this increases the damage. Definitely have to go for it. Yo, I need to take out Seaside. If I don't take her out, it's a disaster. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, usually I want the counter attack from the opposite ML Ken. So he attack like, mine gets lowered. And then the enemy team is, like, focusing on my, my ML Ken. Let's just wait until he lose the attack buff, which I guess uh, won't happen because we're attacking now. Oh God. This is happening. Isarian, no! He still has the attack buff. I think I should be fine. I mean... As long as there's no defense down, if I land attack break... Okay, that's good. Still a lot of damage, man. Still a lot of damage. Let's go for that, because that's going to take the attack buff off of him, and he has attack break, so... Shouldn't be too bad. It's just that he's going to attack right after this. Still quite a bit of damage. Okay, we're safe. Oh god, really? Oh man. We're in trouble now. Oh, she's dead. Rip Isaria. At least she landed the fans break. In case we didn't land a critical hit, we had that going. Okay, let me find my second opponent. Okay, my second opponent. So that's the team I'll be running. I have Guider Ether. I mean, he's triple S memory imprint. And I mean, yeah, I want to use him. So he has the uh, special equipment to boost his, uh, to give a barrier to, to the whole team. So, Ken is going to attack this Tina, Seaside is going to attack uh, Fire Ken. We just need to survive the initial damage. Please don't die. We have a memory imprint from Fire Ken to Guider. I hope it keeps him alive. Round two, we have Fawn Cecilia with uh, Aureus, so it's going to be a lot of damage, man, coming our way. Uh, Angelic, I hope she's able to pull through with the healing. I hope she doesn't get heavily focused down by. Like, you know, Challenger, Domino, Arbiter, Vildred. Uh, I have to be really careful there. I hope I don't get unlucky. Okay. So, Farrakhan loses his turn. Guide. Oh, my God, Guider. Okay, the counterattack is not happening now. Now, because Farrakhan didn't attack, 
we like survive there. We survive because of that. So, what do I want to actually do here? The barrier is not going to do anything. I mean, it's going to hit the Steen. I don't want that. The continuous healing won't do anything yet. Let's just attack Fire Can for now. Oh, I mean, Seaside. Let's lower Seaside. Okay, now the big heal will have Guider to hopefully help us stay alive. Okay, look at our HP now. 20k HP on Purgus. Okay, let's start with uh, the barrier. Let's start with the barrier. Okay, let's go. No attack buff, by the way. Let's uh, let's try to go first. Okay, the crit, we got it. She's out, that's perfect. Purgus boosting combat treatiness. Fire can's dealing some pretty good damage. Oh man, she's been locked out. She's locked out. We have to We have to land that stun. Or at least the attack break, which won't do so much against a hero that scales off of max HP and attack. But yeah, okay, we got both. Let's go for that, which will heal the team. Let's see how much it actually heals without uh, defense down and without attack buff. Two K heal. It's like uh, two fifth of the damage. That went pretty well, because I, I, the plan was to split their damage. You know, I just had to survive the initial hit from Seaside, which was pretty close against Guider. Oh, he's the only one that can do something here. Let's apply the barrier again. I want to test him out with the uh, attack buff. It scales with 100% uh, of his attack, I believe. So mine's at like 4,000 attack, so with attack buff it'd be 6,000 barrier. But now it's only a 4k barrier. The skill ups I think increase the damage, not the barrier strength. Okay, here this is gonna be pretty rough. No counter. We're going. I mean, they don't have any defense break. So the thing I can do is try to sleep Challenger Domino. Nope. Okay, here we go. Cause I don't want to trigger like a Moonlight Dream Blade on Arbiter Vildred. I didn't pay attention. I didn't check what artifact he was wearing. Cause I have to pay attention to that. You see, he's got Alexa's basket. Oh god, come on, heal. Oh, it should be enough, please. Oh my god, the double greater attack. No, 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 don't do it, don't do it, <gasps> I was so close, wow, and you know what was going to happen after that, right, it was uh, a turn giving from Auxiliary Lots onto Arbiter Vildred again, you know, and if he did kill someone, that means he would have used skill 3 again with attack buff, if he didn't trigger greater attack buff again. Man, my luck against those uh, Alexis basket though. It's pretty crazy. Fallen Cecilia made all the difference. If I didn't bring her, uh, I mean, ML Ken was dead. That Aureus plus the, you know, just the Aureus, the Aureus by itself. The barrier was probably still up. Yeah. Maybe not so... Uh, yeah, the barrier was gone because he countered uh, Challenger Domino. Okay. My third opponent now. I'll be back. Okay, so the uh, third attack. I have to attack Dahlberg Fortress. You know, like we have... How many attacks do we have left? 21. So we need to take that out. Like, we just have to. Okay, so... I mean, they're using a four-star Judith, but they're just trying to go first to, you know, take out the opponent. 
So I'll just go full on tank and I'll bring Cecilia on that one. And on round two, I'm going with the safer route with the same team that I went on that, that first, uh, that second battle. So let's, uh, let's go in there. I was thinking maybe baiting General Purgus, like uh, baiting uh, Command Arena on General Purgus, but I mean, he doesn't have an immunity set. So if they land, the fans break and he could be popped by uh, Commander Lorena. So I, I wanted to uh, change, like, change things up. But actually, I have to rush this because... Uh, I have to rush this because it's going to be maintenance. You know, the patch is about to drop. And uh, I'm filming this, so... Wow. Her damage, man. It's it's quite beautiful. Okay. Here we we have the opening. I mean, Fawn Cecil is going first. That's that's perfect. It doesn't really matter. We can... Uh, you know, if we wanted to be extra careful... I could apply debuff immunity on Fawn Cecilia. I have almost 200% effect resistance on my Angelic Pomerancy. So no debuff should be landing. If there's any, well, they got lucky. Counter attack, good. I mean, Tywin is, he's just like, he's a rock. I mean, he's so tanky. Especially with the defense buff. They're going with double defense buff on this. Tywin has self and... Maybe she loses her turn. Oh, she did. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, no sustain, so... That's what happens. Oh, why did I provoke her? Maybe I wanted to counter attack. Never mind, she goes back to sleep. Man, Lorena is not doing much here. Well, Lorena did nothing. I'll be showing my gear after this. Oh, well, my stats, not all my gear actually. If you want to see all my gear, I I did show it in the previous video. Pretty sure at the end. I usually show all the gear. Well, sometimes I just want to like show the stats. It's it's good enough. Yo, die, man! Just rip. It's like a Wyvern Eleven frontliner, almost 20k HP. Counter attack. The finish, perfect. <laughs> perfect. Okay, well, whoever is gonna land the blow on that fortress is gonna get a bunch of havoc. Okay, so my stats, we had Guider Ether in here. Uh, pretty solid. I guess he's well, just sub 4k attack, and this thing is uh, is very solid. That that shield, man, that's a lot. That that that's a lot of sustain for the team, and with this, he's able to cycle through his uh, skill too quite often. You know, three turn memory imprint. I mean, 8.4 uh, percent HP for the other allies is also very good. We didn't have Seaside on this one. No Chaos Axe. Isaria was here. Rip Isaria. She didn't last too long. But she did her job. She did her job. Fire Can. He uh, did quite a bit of work here. Same as ML Can. Cecilia. We saw her blow up the enemy team. We had Champion Zerato. He made the, an appearance. I mean, not built for offense, but he, he's tanky. He's able to uh, 
Yeah, he can disrupt the enemy team if he lands debuffs, but I, but I was like constantly cleansing them, so I couldn't like get them back on the enemy team. Uh, Kral was not part of this one. Angelic Mamorancy, just amazing healer. General Purgis unfortunately didn't get uh, any action. Destina, and that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Anson Like, comment, subscribe for more. Press the bell icon if you like to be notified whenever I release a new video. And check out my other videos. They should be showing up on the screen now. Playlists of all sorts. Arena, Guild Wars, Guides, Tips, and Autos, and Abyss Force 62+. Plus. So check those out if you haven't. And also join my Discord server. We have over 500 members. And good luck with all you do in the game. Peace out for now.